From the green countryside of the Caribbean island of Barbados, welcome to the Barbados Ninja Throwdown 2018. I'm Wayne Cool Simmons, and with me all the way from the Netherlands, my good friend Perry. Hi, I'm Perry, I'm from the Netherlands, and listen up. I've been competing all across the world, but this Barbados Ninja Throwdown course is sick. Let me tell you, it's so sick that we've got competitors who have defied all the odds to get to Barbados. In fact, they're coming from the United States, from Puerto Rico, from Guam, the United Kingdom, from Trinidad and Tobago, from Dominica, and yes, there's that contingent also from Barbados. All told, they'll be competing in three different categories. There's the 8 to 12, the 13 to 17, and then the category that you often compete in. Yes, the 18 and over. I am really excited about that one because not only the internationals, but the people from Barbados have been training really, really hard at FitPro, and I think they will do amazing things on this Barbados Ninja Throwdown course. Well, the competitor who emerges as the topmost in today's competition will be going on to the National Ninja League, where they will be participating. Oh, I can't wait. The course is ready. The competitors are ready. Are you ready? Let's start this Barbados Ninja Throwdown Season 3. Here we go. To get this edition of the Barbados Ninja Throwdown started, here is competitor number one, Charlie Collins. Charlie is contesting the course for the very first time. At the tender age of 10, she's drawn from the 8 to 12 age category and she will be relying on her experience as a gymnast to help her to navigate the obstacles that are before her. Starting with the Morgan Lewis wheels, of which there are two. Now competitors first have to travel a distance of approximately 20 yards on the smaller of the two wheels before transitioning to the large one to complete a further distance of 20 yards. And then it's on to, as we can see here, the ragged point titter tot. It's the equivalent of a moving balance beam, and that can prove to be quite tricky. But from here, Charlie is moving on to a network of six slanted stones. It'll be a test of her agility and her prowess of leaping. Well, she's done that quite easily and she's moved on to the stepping stones. And from the stepping stones, she's onto the log beams. Keeping her composure, she moves quickly to the platform that will send her next to the monkey bars. Now looking at her, she seems quite composed. She's methodical, she's rhythmic, and she's making herself, even with some adjustments, very easily across the course. She dismounts and she's headed now to the Garrison Spider Wall. Spider Wall is a framework of wood. On the inside of the wood, two parallel walls that are made of pyrospec. Now that it's this early in the contest, it means that no one has traversed this area before and so the surface should be clean and should be without any challenges to her. One thing things that she's doing is she's keeping quite high on the Garrison Spider Wall and that gives her some advantage so that she can maneuver herself quite easily. And this she has done. And she moves on to the rope right now. And Perry, this is where I'm going to invite you in because I've got to ask you, thus far, how impressed are you with her, she with her technique? She is doing amazing, good technique on the rope, using the legs and the hands that is allowed. And she's conserving energy right now. What we should tell persons who are watching is that what is beneath her and what they cannot see is actually a pool of water. And if she should slip at all, it's unforgiving. Down in the water, you're out of the course. <laughs> she is almost at the end. Will she make it? Yes, she does. That's great. This crowd is absolutely electric. And now she jumps onto the cargo net. Incidentally, each one of the obstacles that they come into contact with carries the name of a prominent landmark in Barbados and that she's on the net right now, that is known as the Joe's, the Hackleton's Cliff Net Climb. She's just completed it, and Perry, she's going confidently. Yeah, she looks very comfortable on this amazing River Bay log roll. Taking your time is the best way. You don't want to rush this obstacle, and it seems she's enjoying it. Wow, great job. Well, the thing about Charlie is that she's a first-time competitor, but she's also very talented in gymnastics and in dancing. And I guess it's in those type of agility disciplines that you really hone your skills and you're able to coordinate and do your balance. And that's probably what's helping her to where she is right now. Exactly, exactly. Oh, she's already on the Pico Tenerife pegboard. It's really hard. You need to move yourself from peg to peg. And at the end, you need to lache over the blue line. But she is doing perfect. She's getting a lot of support from this crowd that's constantly growing. You know, in Barbados, this sport 
of the Ninja Throwdown is relatively new in that it's just into its third year. But the crowds have been building and building and she's nearing the end. She is nearing the end. She's oh. now at the warp wall. You can get, take us through this one, Perry. I'm getting goosebumps. She is at Mount Hillaby climbing up the rope. If she can get up. Oh my God, she's almost there. This is amazing. This is what it's about. The crowd is backing her up. Everyone here is happy. The big question is, is she going to make it just over the peak? And she's going to make it. She's made it and she hits the buzzer. <laughs> yes, amazing. Congratulations, Charlie. How was your run? It was really good. I got really scared. My mouth is all dry. Was there at any point where you felt like, I might fall, I might not make the it? The spider wall, definitely. My feet were slipping. And I thought I would, I thought for sure I would fall. But you didn't. So you're way through. You have to wait and see what the other times are. But congratulations. Thank you. Welcome back to Barbados Ninja Throwdown 2018, where the crowd continues to build and their support is behind our second competitor out on the course. Julissa Games is her name. Yeah, and she right now she is on the Morgan Lewis wheels, the second rolling all the way to the end to get to the cattle wash, to get to the Ragged Point Teeter Top. Well, Jaleesa, like Carl Charlie before her, is a first-time competitor. As was mentioned by our commentators before, today is her birthday, and so for many reasons, she would want to complete this course because I don't think that it could be, well, as I say that, she falters. Well, Perry, one would expect that with a competitor faltering, that they'd be immediately and automatically eliminated from the process, but it looks as though she's been allowed to continue, and perhaps you can tell our viewers why. For the kids course, they are allowed to continue their run until a certain point on the course, which gives them a great experience on the course instead of being out of the competition straight away. She's now on the monkey bars. The funny thing is this, that even though you're seated in the bleachers, it's almost as if you are yourself competing the course and so the adrenaline rush is there. You can you can hear the answer. You can actually hear the gasps as persons, you know, when they're almost about to fall or, or whatever, the crowd is right there with them all the way. Right, right, right. It's it's really nice. The crowd is backing her up. And as a competitor, when you're running the course, it's very nice to get that energy. Take that energy from the crowd and continue your run. It will give you extra superpowers. Now, unlike the senior competition, for those that are in this category, there is no time limit. Exactly, there's no time limit for the kids and the teenagers. Uh, for the adults, there's a four minute time limit. So they need to complete the course within that time limit. How much pressure does it place on you when you know that you've got to go within a certain time? Or is there an indicator here as to how much time has elapsed so that you know whether to pick up or if you can continue through at your measured pace. Yes, yeah, so when you're running the course and you know that there's a time limit, you're always thinking about that as well. So it puts a lot of pressure extra, but there is someone with the time saying every 30 seconds, there you go, one minute, one minute 30, two minutes, and so on. So and you, is that an international standard? Um, it is being used on different shows around the world. And as a competitor, it is actually very nice that you can just call your time whenever you want. So whenever you are somewhere on the course, you can say time and then production will tell you how much time you have left. Right now, Jaleesa is continuing and she's onto the log. This <laughs> requires a lot of balance. I think the first time that I saw this was in a uh, Robin Hood movie <laughs> where Robin Hood and I think it was uh, the friar met on logs somewhere on some lake in, in, in Sherwood Forest or wherever it was they were. And I found that that was pretty exciting. And they've incorporated that into what we're doing here. Yeah, it's at the incredible. Ninja Throwdown. The white flag went up. That means she cleared the obstacle. She's right now on the Pico Tenerife pegboard. It may be out of the sight of our viewers, but hovering in close vicinity to the competitors is a drone. And that technology brings you almost in within touching distance of competitors. You can almost see the sweat, you can see the glands, yes. you, can, you can see the pulses that goes through them. And, and that is pretty exciting and close of view as well. Another white flag goes up. And now she's at the warped wall. 
Yeah, this in this enormous warp wall is called Mount Hillaby. People from Barbados must know this. She now needs to climb up the rope. Using her feet on the rope is a smart move, but can she get it? It doesn't seem she can find the right technique at this point. Sadly, she couldn't get up the rope. She will be training very hard for the next one, I'm sure. Jalisa, you did well. You made it all the way to Mount Hillaby, and then what happened? Oh, I got tired. Splashing my hands, upper body strength, just nope. And we'll take a break at this time. When we return, we'll find out who, if anyone else, will make it to the top of Mount Hillaby. We welcome you back to the Barbados Ninja Throwdown to what has been a pretty exciting day so far. The crowd is definitely building by the minute and it's time now to look at our next competitor who's out on the course. This is Hannah Toppin. For Hannah, unlike the other competitors, she's getting very, very, very high in the garrison spider wall. Any advantages to getting that high? I mean, the higher you are, the better, the safer, because if you tend to slip, you can still have enough room and enough space to, to get yourself so you don't fall. Um, if you're low and you slip, you're immediately on the, on the safety pad and then you're out. For persons who are seeing this for the very first time, the structure actually, actually has perspex on the inside, which is a form of hard plastic. Um, you may ask what it is that keeps them stuck. <laughs> a Spider-Man would stick to a surface. Yes. And it's simply because each time that competitors pass through, they actually wipe it down. Exactly. So that the soles of the feet, the soles of the shoes can adhere to the yep. Paris bag. And I like the fact that they're doing that because they use that, they do that on the show all the time. When every competitor, you know, does an obstacle, they wipe it down for the next competitor so everything is fair to the next one. We're on to the cargo rope. And I must admit, that she's going through each of these obstacles relatively quickly. Yeah, and also very methodical. I hope she doesn't mess up on this obstacle. It's a very tricky, tricky balance obstacle. Well, gymnastics is something that she pursues and she loves. And I would suggest wow. that th that was really a <laughs> leap. That was quite a leap. Right after Hannah's completed the course, or as far as she can go to, we're going to give you some insight into the times that have been recorded for the previous three competitors, so that you can, for yourself, start taking notes and be aware of exactly how they've been performing thus far. Char Once again, Charlie is the only one who completed the course in four minutes, three seconds. The one other competitor that took it right up to the warp wall was Jalisa. And Jalisa went, by the time she gave up on her third attempt, she'd recorded five minutes and 14 seconds. Well, actually, they timed the obstacle they cleared before the obstacle they fell. So since she fell on Mount Hillaby, she cleared the, the, the tire run in five minutes, 14 seconds. Well, Hannah is meeting some resistance on the part of the warp wall. But she's being encouraged, and the crowd is being encouraged oh, also wow. to support her. And you can tell with the encouragement that she's really trying. But those arms must be burning right now. Very much. She's using upper body only, which is incredible. I wish I could do that at that age. I hope she can use her legs as well, because this is very taxing on the arms. It's all about determination, and she's not giving up. She's wow, not giving this up is incredible. This is very, very incredible. But now she needs to get on top. And that's she proving very taxing on her. She's trying to wrap her legs around the rope once again, just for that extra support. But there's not much leverage that she's getting, and now she's slipping. And once gravity takes a hold of you, you know where you go, down. So, so far, four competitors one has gone the distance, two have made it to the warp wall. And Hannah is approaching. That was a fantastic job, but Mount Hillary got the best of you. Tell me about that. Well, I really thought I could make it to the top, but my hands were too weak. Back out onto the courts once again. The action continues in the age 8 to 12 category. This is Liam Barnard. 
So it continues to be very interesting. A short while ago, I got the impression I was feeling a bit of precipitation, a little bit of you know, rain coming in, but that quickly went away. And the competitors, well, they were, a bit, they were able to cool down just a little. And I guess as you see more and more of them go through, those who are waiting their turn, they're going to get excited or they're going to be encouraged by the performances of the one that preceded them. So if you're a competitor in the middle or in the last of the group, you can actually watch and see what to do and what not to do. So this is their advantage. And right now we have Liam on a teeter-tot onto the steps, making it look easy, very methodical moves, taking his time. Great job, onto the monkey bars. A straight path, great technique with the one arm. It's like a monkey technique, which is very nice. You're conserving energy. Jumping over the blue line, clearing the course onto the garrison spider wall. Barely fitting in between the walls, using the legs only. <laughs> it's incredible. And that's a clear. Liam is the second of our male competitors. Three girls out on the courts before him, but he's not daunted by anything. I think Liam is thinking only of himself. He's not considering the competition that's being put before him. Instead, it's about him getting past every single stage of this competition. So what I like about Liam is he's been thinking about this for a good amount of time he has long socks he knows he's gonna climb onto the rope with his legs so he doesn't burn his skin and he's at the end and he cleared it the Joe's River scuttle then gives way to the Hackleton's cliff net climb Liam obviously conserving his energy he's not rushing any part of this course going through it methodically it's almost as though he planned this and therefore his approach is one that he knows I can make it. Step by step, defeating all the obstacles before him. Jumps onto the sponge and now he's making his way to the River Bay Log Roll. Liam is taking it easy. You don't want to rush this at all. He's almost there, ready to make the jump. Great job. Onto the ragged appears, the point. The is something that, yeah. It can get you. Liam saw the platform. He forgot to step on the last bit of the teeter-tot. So he slipped and fell. Great run. Well, so far only one contestant has cleared the course and that is Charlie Collins, the very first to go out on the course. And we'll take a break at this time. When we return, we'll find out who, if anyone else, will make it to the top of Mount Hillaby. We're back with more action in the Barbados Ninja Throwdown. Next up is Damari Trotman, who at just 10 years of age says he's ready to climb all mountains. Just how successful he'll be, we're about to see as he's now right out of the blocks. So the horn signaling the start of yet another entrant in this competition. And as always, they get going with the Morgan Lewis wheel. That transition is tricky. You need to really stay focused. But so far, Damari is showing great progress on the obstacle. Almost at the ragged point, teeter tot.
keeping the balance. Tipped it over. The Catawash stepping stones already at the end of it. On to the Bose balls and the Wallaba logs. Demari is making steady progress. Slow and steady indeed. On to the monkey pegs already. Wow, this is great technique and speed. This is very, very nice. Over the blue line. Great job. Now he's going to jump into the garrison spider wall. Unlike the technique that was displayed by those before him, where they spread both legs apart. Damari, Damari, he's just going to get past the garrison spider wall. He's fallen victim to the webs. But we'll move along to see just how young Gerard Khan will fare. So, up to this point, with 10 contestants having entered the obstacle course, only one has defeated it. The young lady, Shirley Collins. Most times one would expect they are king of the castle, king of the hill, but it's the queen who is the monarch right here <laughs> at Featherbed Lane. And she's doing a great job of defending what she fought so very hard to conquer. Yeah, so far the female contestants are the best of the best. And I love seeing that because it shows that it's not only men who can do this course, but the women can do it just as good. Right now, Jared is on the monkey bars, making great time. Already grabbing the last one, making a nice swing and jump over the blue line. And now the daunting Garrison spider wall slips on the plexiglass and his run is over. Well, that's a wrap on an action-packed day here in St. John Barbados, where Shirley Collins has reigned supreme. Tune in next week as the other contestants from the age 8 to 12 category try to advance and conquer the Barbados Ninja Throwdown course.